breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. If you wear your fluffy slippers, please take a look at this. This is what happens when you chug too much soy milk. This is the Uniswap chart. Uni is making new multi-year lows against Bitcoin. This is the Uni BTC chart. There is a lot of issues going on here. We have breaking news. The Uniswap Foundation is dumping an enormous amount of Uni. They have been caught on chain selling $43 million of their token. They have been in the process of doing it. <clears throat> they have sent it to a market maker called Winter Mute, which I call Winter Poop. There is going to be a video about Winter Poop and why you should avoid every coin they're associated with because they are poopy heads. UniBTC is in free fall. Fake DeFi Uniswap continues to have secret meetings with the corrupt SEC and they're implementing KYC and they delisted real DeFi hex whilst leaving honeypots, scams, securities, leveraged, tra leveraged uh, trading coins. All this garbage is still available on there. What are they doing? They have backstabbed the industry. They're in the process of doing it right now. How did we get here, friends? Well, when you trade on uni, there is a fee, 0.3% fee. In the code, there is a switch. If they activate the switch, instead of 0.3% fee, it becomes 0.25. It frees up 0.05. This can go into a buy and burn. I calculated this and found out where uni should be had they activated it based off their total volume done since they were real DeFi. What I found out was, and I made a video on this, was that Uni should be number three market cap in all of crypto. Uni should have 100 billion plus market cap. It should be enormously higher. It could have gone 50x from here in the bull market. Enormous. This is not theoretics. This is literally if they just activated the fee switch based off real volume going through. It is a sad day to see where they are now. They are nowhere near rank three. They are rank 25. They are being dumped. Everybody is backstabbing us. The crypto industry is very unfortunate to see. So the fake DeFi Uniswap Foundation are dumping their fake DeFi Uni token. Uni token doesn't have a use case. It's only meant to be used to vote. But here's the sad part. When it comes to real critical issues to vote, they don't listen anyway. So the governance, it doesn't even mean anything. It's just an imaginary poop coin. It's there, why? Because they got vampire attacked and they're scum. They made the token, people buy, people get, people get destroyed. You are just providing exit liquidity for them to dump. Uniswap also, I heavily advise, do not go to uniswap.org anymore. They added a, an extra 0.15% fee to trades for a tip. Nothing to do with the uni token. I've explained many videos. You like subscribe, belly button, or two. I've explained many videos. Why? Why do they do it? It's because they're having secret meetings with the corrupt SEC. And the corrupt SEC have clearly told them, hey, man, don't touch your uni token because we're trying to get the rest of the crypto industry to make them look like a security. We're trying to strangle the crypto industry because JP Mosquito, Goldman Slugs, and all the other scum out there they're trying to get us to destroy crypto. So you are on our team and we are using you to backstab everyone. So you can't do anything with your Uni token. That's why Uniswap have done nothing with their token. They've added negative value. They destroyed everybody. Remember, we did cancel Uniswap. They delisted real DeFi hex. They dumped this trash fake governance Uni token. I used to be heavily weighted in my portfolio to Uni in the previous bull market. Unfortunately, what I got wrong was I did not know how hunched their backs were. I thought they had fluffy slippers, very tarnished, very brown, very crumpled. They did not do what the logical thing is to do, which is increase value for the network. They did not do that. They don't care. I have to use the S word again. They are scum. How else do you explain to me why somebody would shoot themselves in the foot why wouldn't you put in this free fee switch? Why wouldn't you do that? You know the, the uni shareholders voted for it? Did you know that? Everybody said yes. We've been voting yes for it 
since the beginning of time. They haven't done anything. It's there for a reason, okay? They have ushered in themselves. They're no longer a unicorn. They're literally a donkey. Fake DeFi Uniswap. They are now here with the corrupt SEC. They're backstabbing the industry. Okay, I don't like them at all. They are centralized. They are implementing KYC. This is the post we made. And it shows you them dumping. They're transferring all the money. $43 million US. This is spot. This is not on leverage. This is spot. They're actually getting rid of the tokens. Sending them to Winterpoop, who are using Kraken to dump. That's what happens. They're caught in the middle of the process. Whether or not they let everybody know, who cares? You're doing a bad thing. They know they're doing a bad thing. They know it's very bad. You can't trust these people. They are literally working with lizard people. These are untrustworthy, scaly skin. Stay away. But they're also good marketing. Why? Because they make real DeFi, like Pulse Chain, look so much better. I like this. The Pulse Chain volume still cranking. Pulse. Pulse X. You have P hex and E hex. Here you have the nice ratio. You even have combined hex. Whatever tickles you fancy. All these great things coming, friends. This is beautiful to see, isn't it? You have a lot of these things going. And look, this is this is total hex as well, the full total hex chart combined. You can show people this and say, look, <clears throat> this is real DeFi. We don't like these weird KYC type of like pencil neck, weirdo, Uniswap Foundation stuff. And guess what? Many millions of people around the world, they're going to like this too. There's freedom here. Are you going to participate? Let everyone know. See, I thought, and so did other people, we thought because uni is chosen by them that they're going to make a pump. I thought that. But now I've realized they won't. It's garbage. They are garbage. They are dumping on people. They are not adding value. And you can't put your, don't put any dollars around near this. This is absolutely disgusting. I hope this does turn around for everybody in there. But this is one of the reasons why I tell many people, if you had to choose, I've chosen Link. I like the Link community. There are Link Marines. Uh, how many times, all my lessons, there is no cult in uni. There are no unicorns. It's got the best meme. Everybody calls themselves a unicorn. There's nobody out there. There is no cult. There is no community. I can go bag out the founder. The founder's blocked me. He's blocked everybody. No one cares. Okay? You can go bag out uni tokens. No one's coming for your throat because they know it's trash. Try tag hexagons and call it trash and see what happens to you. <laughs> You're going to get a large locust of people coming in, and that's what you want to see. So for 2023, fake DeFi uni token, it's down 63% against Bitcoin. Uni BTC capitulating down to multi year lows. So it was discovered there. So look at all this stuff. Do you want to see the ultimate backup? The ultimate, the ultimate backstab. Look at this. In January 2022, which is a year and a half ago, a bit over that, Uniswap founder, his bank account got shut down by JP Mosquito. Look at this right now. Look at him. This week, JP Mosquito. Closed my bank account with no notice or explanation. Clown face. I know many individuals and companies who have been similarly targeted. <laughs> Baby dolls. Please confirm our friendship in the comment section. Do you think it was a coincidence that JP Mosquito targeted a billionaire dude who dumped his tokens, by the way, secretly already? Do you think that they coincidentally targeted him in January 2022? Look at this. In the year where the US Fed wanted to hike rates to send Bitcoin to zero, it is not a coincidence. Do you think it's just a coincidence in the same year? Go, oh, golly gee, did a surprising evil actor destroy the UST stablecoin? Oh, golly gee, was FTX, SBF, was he doing secret deals with the corrupt SEC to strangle the crypto industry? Oh, that must be a, a big coincidence, isn't it? It's not a coincidence. They're all reptilian lizard dudes. They're licking their lips right now, just thinking about the next victims. We're going to make it. So the Uniswap founder first got attacked. January 2022. In 2022, they probably locked him up in a room. They did some weird things to him. And he liked it. And so he's backstabbing the whole crypto industry now. 
Look at this 180 U-turn. Firstly, he was fighting for real DeFi. Now, look at this. They reveal themselves as fake DeFi. Just a year later, they delist Hex whilst listing honeypot scams, securities, leverage trading, trash, other garbage, filth. They even still list Ponzi's, literal Ponzi's. They're implementing KYC. They've had secret meetings with the SEC, the corrupt SEC, multiple meetings. They are dumping fake governance uni token. Look at that 180 U-turn. First, they take his bank account. He caves in straight away. Do you forget why we're here, man? I've got to remind you, crypto has tools for you to remove middlemen. You know that, right? But of course, they know that. Why are they still playing the game? I'll tell you why. Is because they dumped a lot in 2021. You understand that? They found a way to dump. They probably have more than $100 million sitting around. And then the banks threaten them. They go, oh, golly gee, I thought you were a crypto dude. Now you want to hold the US dollar in the bank account? Okay, well, you're going to play by our rules. He doesn't have balls. you got little sultanas. The unicorn is dead. They are here to betray us. They're betraying us now. This is perfect marketing. Perfect. Real DeFi pulse chain. We don't have this narrative. We've got a clean, beautiful. There's, there's birds chirping. It's an island. There's coconut trees everywhere. Blue tropical waters. Freedom and liberty. Everybody's free to choose, to build. It's such a better world. The best part is... You see Uniswap Foundation? This is the thing, friends. I'm just going to be honest with you. If Uni was pumping to the moon because it was a bug eater chosen coin, I'd be bullish on it. I would say, well, they're clearly using illegal printed money to pump this up to try kill everything else. They're trying to get everybody in. That's what I would say. But guess what? They're not doing that because they don't respect us. Instead, what's happening? You see a middleman, Uniswap Foundation is a middleman. They have costs to pay. They have to buy their hormone blockers. Do you understand? It's dumping down. Uniswap Foundation is dumping. Crypto was made to remove middlemen. Look what happens when there's middlemen. The value goes down. There are offices to pay. There are buildings to pay. You've got to put more cookies in the cookie jar. Refill the coffee machine. There's that useless HR chick. Do you see? That's why crypto adds so much value. We have systems built by nerds with pens in their front pocket that remove thousands of employees that sit around in banks jerking themselves off. We are a threat. That's why we're in the then they fight you face. It's just unfortunate. Uniswap don't want to put on a fight. The sad part is they didn't even try. I often get asked about Chainlink. Chainlink, I call it Bug Eater DeFi. It is Bug Eater DeFi, okay? It's not real DeFi, it's Bug Eater DeFi. Chainlink's going to enable real DeFi, but itself it's Bug Eater DeFi. Now, Chainlink is moving up. Chainlink has big buyers. Chainlink's got enormous holders. The Chainlink Foundation dumped on us. But there's one thing going on here. Link Marines exist. Chainlink is chosen. Chainlink, the token, was built from day one to have economic activity. Link token is needed to pay for the services, not only of an oracle. It's much more than the oracle. It's linking chains together. It's a, it's a bridge to different systems and networks. It's a currency being paid everywhere. It levels up the whole crypto industry. Now, all of these jizz jazz words mean nothing, but I liked seeing Chainlink only drop minus 90% in the bear. I'm liking its thrust upwards. I'm liking the distribution of the buyers and holders. I like that Swift have chosen it. I like all of that. And I like that the industry is moving forward. But it is what it is, right? If this coin was still going down, you'd have to think about other things. I just got a good feeling about this. But when it comes to fake DeFi Uniswap, 
there really isn't much to say. Now, I hope that this is a fake out. I really hope it is and it can continue and go up. I hope that. But how much risk do you want to take in this game? You have alternatives. You got your Linky. You've got real DeFi Pulse Chain. PulseX. PulseX is infinitely better than this trash. PulseX actually has a real buy and burn. Richard Hart actually put in the features that Uniswap is meant to put in for their stupid trash fake DeFi governance token. He actually put it in. Now, granted, Uniswap have all the volume, but what good is all the volume if you can't benefit from it? It's like watching a party across the street. You're not invited? Okay, screw you guys. I'll make my own party. In my party, we're going to wear our pants. There's going to be glitter and cowboy hats. Plenty of orange juice with three ice cubes in the cup for everyone. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Real DeFi is better than fake DeFi. Tell mum and dad too. Catch you in the next one.